All right, and you're back with us, continuing on the series with the Freedom PS21 service videos. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the high limit switch. So the high limit switch, let me just put the camera right in here. High limit switch is going to be mounted on the back side of the feeder system. You'll see they're mounted on a bracket. So this is a ceramic high limit switch. This is a safety switch, so it's important while the unit's in operation that this is connected. The idea as a safety switch is that this is directly in line with our auger feed motor. So in the event that we have uh, too high of a heat back there, this switch that's normally closed will open and it will break circuit to that auger motor. Now this is a manually reset switch, excuse me, an auto reset switch, which means that uh, once the stove cools down, that the switch is auto reset. However, if we do have an issue with this switch tripping, we want to take a look at some of the areas in the stove and why this switch might be tripping, okay? So first off, we want to make sure everything is cleaned out and good. Let's check our fire pot. Let's check our uh, fuel hopper. Let's check our auger shaft. Let's make sure that we don't have any ash blockage. From there, if we do need to replace the high limit switch, we're going to kind of go through the basics right here. So very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull off our electrical wires. Nate has a couple needle nose pliers right here, and that's going to be best just to make sure that we have a nice grip on there and that we're able to pull those off. Now, it does not matter which wire connects to which spade as we are putting this back in. But the connections can be a little tight. So needle nose like that can be your, be your best friend. So again, anytime we're working back with the stove, any electric components, always make sure this is unplugged from the wall. But once the wires are released, we really just have two bolts right there. Again, you're gonna to wanna to have a, a set of metric Allen wrenches. It's a tight space, but these shouldn't be too tightened down on there. It should be fairly easy to crank open, but we've got, uh, we've got two bolts that hold this high limit switch on there. So thanks for showing you how the Allen wrench goes in there. Those loosen up. We're not gonna fully take this switch out. Just wanted to show you where the high limit switch is, what the high limit switch is for, and if it does come time to replace it, how you go about that process. So thanks again for joining us on another service video on the PS21. If you do have questions or concerns uh, regarding your unit, limit switches, Anything of the sorts, leave us a comment down below. We're always here. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much.